Hey everybody, just a quick video today and really more of a public service announcement more than anything. I recently upgraded to Windows 11 and there's one new nuisance you're going to inevitably have to deal with if you send macros to somebody or if you receive them. Macro enabled files that is. For example, this is a file that I sent from myself to myself. It's an XLSM file so it's got a macro. But if I were to just double click this and open this up, I'm not going to get that yellow bar to enable content. No, instead, now I've got a red bar saying Microsoft has blocked macros from running entirely. I don't have an option to enable this from this from this screen here or from, from the file itself. What I actually need to do is save this file onto my computer like I've done here. And then what I still need to do before I can open it, right click go to properties and select this option to unblock even though i sent this file from myself to myself microsoft says it's an unknown source i have to hit apply and hit ok but now when i open it now it's going to be back to how it was before where you have to hit the enable content button as before so if you've got security settings where you're automatically enabling macros and you know, you're not going to see this, but for, for the majority of users, most likely, you know, who are used to seeing this yellow bar, you have to go through all these steps just to get back to where you were b before these changes happened. So, so that's just something to keep an eye out for, you know, especially if you're sending files to somebody. I don't know why Microsoft hates macros and has made it even more difficult I had plenty of instances where you know users couldn't couldn't even figure out to enable the content from that from that yellow bar. So adding these extra hoops to go through to download the file, unblock it, and then still enable it is just going to be you know more more fun for you to deal with when you're when you're setting files back and forth because you know you can't just double click and open a file from your email attachment anymore. You're gonna have to save it first and do those extra steps. So just thought I'd let you know about the recent changes and to watch out for that.